Imagine, if you will, a mysterious invitation. You've been invited to attend a live radio show as part of the studio audience. As you open the card, you find yourself, well, here. Another public service announcement from Brill Cray. Men, beware. Use one dab of Brill Cray. Just a little dab makes your hair look excitingly clean, disturbingly healthy. This man dared to use two dabs. Now he's in trouble. We refuse to be responsible. There is a dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension vaster than space and timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between life and Sheol, between history and religion, and it lies between the valley of fear and the summit of man's knowledge. It is the dimension of fascination. In this area, we call it the Jewish zone. A man named Haman walks into his bathroom. He looks in the mirror and makes himself presentable. Haman, a cunning little man, the right hand of Xerxes, the king of Persia. Rumor has it that he's a descendant of King Agag, the Amalekite king Shaul had let live. In doing, in doing so, he had set the stage for what might have been a great tragedy. Yeah, what do you think I should wear? Yeah. Why do you ask? Are you not wise enough to pick your own clothes? I have been elevated to a higher position than any other noble in the land. It is now law that all but the king himself must bow before me. Why then does he refuse? I see. Mordecai again. Why does it bother you so much? Respect. If one person does not respect me, then soon others will stop. I can see how that would concern you. Mm. Go with the red robe, go trimming. Haman walks past people bowing. Mordecai doesn't. The man next to Mordecai looks at him questioningly. Haman's servants are, servants are fanning him. He glares at Mordecai before walking off. A noble speaks with Mordecai. Mordecai, why did you not bow? Did you not recognize him? No, I know him, but I shall never bow to him. But why? The king ordained, ordained it himself. I bow to no one but my God and my king. To do so, to any other would betray my heritage, for I am a Jew. Hmm. And now a word from our sponsor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Part of lacking for the last donkey for your collections? Don't find the two movies you like. <laughs> Down to sure. Mr. Brickerback's knickknacks for all your collecting needs. Mr. Brickerback's knickknacks, he has piles and stacks. Come right down today. Now, Haman and the king, Ahasuerus, aka Xerxes, are both sitting at a table looking over some papers. This land before us is very mountainous. 
but there are reports of it about it having iron deposits. We could move some of our Parthaginian captives there and have them mine the area. Yes, the Parthenians are strong people. They would be nice. Any one of you guard one? Guard one. Guard one actually has a line. What do you want? I wish to speak with Lord Heyman. What? Your Majesty, I will leave. Of course, of course. I have somewhere to be. What is it? Do you know Mordecai? Yes. What are they? I know why he does not bow to you. Oh? Why? He says it's because he's a Jew. They will be out to them, says their god or king. Bow to them, and say their god or king. A Jew? You mean someone from the people of Israel? Yes, perhaps you could let them be an exception, exception for religious reasons. I don't see the harm in doing so. No. Don't you? You don't see, do you? And what else do you expect from them to be excused from for religious reasons? What other laws? Can they defy merely for religious reasons? <clears throat> no, I will make an example of them to all the nations. I will burn them from this world. I will make, I will be the hand that holds this empire together. I will be respected. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, of course. How do you plan to do that, my lord? I haven't thought of that yet. I want you to gather some of the nobles and throw some pearl. The debt will be set by them. The set will be debt by them. It will give me time. Yes, my lord. My king, you are back. Haman and Xerxes sees are walking through a hall, conversing. My king, may I speak of something dire? Dire? Of what you speak? There are, are a particular people scattered and dispersed among the peoples in, this, in all the provinces in your kingdom. The laws are different from those of every other people. Moreover, <laughs> they don't deserve the they don't observe the king's laws. It doesn't befit the king to tolerate them. If it pleases the king, have a decree written for their destruction. And I will hand over 330 tons of silver to the officials in charge of the king's affairs to deposit in the royal treasury. The money is given to you and the king and the people too. To do with this seem good to you. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsor. Tired of the, some of those old flavors like vanilla and strawberry? Mm -hmm. Try mm -hmm. Freezy's mm -hmm. ice cream. Forces. We have a Mung Dang Ripple and Crab Shank Berry. Cherry. We don't have a shaker. Shaker. We don't have a shaker. It couldn't be faker. We'll look but never find it. Try some today. The scene is the capital. A messenger from the king delivers a message. Every man, every man in every province in Brazil to the store. Kill and exterminate Jews, young and old, including small children and women, on a specific day on the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar, and seize their goods as plunder. No! 
Mordecai, you should have just bowed. It would have been, it would have saved you. Mordecai holds his head in sadness. He cries. Haman and the king clink glasses while people weep. Imagine, if you will, fade to black. Afterwards, the scene changes to Haman, his wife, the noble, and three friends are sitting at a table. Look upon my good fortune, friends. My wealth is so vast, it would take centuries to count. I have ten stepping young boys. A wife whose beauty left eight children ago. <laughs> <laughs> Favor and power given to me by the king, so that all but him may bow. The queen even threw a banquet eve, inviting only the king and myself, and she is doing it again tomorrow. Life is perfect, except, 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 what? Mordecai, I hold the life of his, his people in my hands and he still will not bow. He just sits there ignoring me. What shall I do? Mm. Mm. Perhaps you would shoot your spear to see him dead. Have a gallop, yes. yes. One that is 75 feet high. 75? It's not, it's not like you can afford it. So yeah. Yes. How better a way to flaunt your wealth while disposing of your enemies? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you feeling sorry for him? No, no, no. It's just, isn't that somewhat excessive? You've already called for the death of his people. Wouldn't he die alongside him? Perhaps, but it is just as likely that he should escape the turmoil. I must have no doubt that he is dead. Yes, I must be going for it quite late. That man has no stomach. No wonder he has not risen beyond his rank. <laughs> When shall I have the bath, the gallows built? Why not now? You haven't gotten this far by wasting an opportunity. Yes, and, ha and have it built in the backyard. It would be a very good show for the boys. Quite right. I, sh I will have it started tonight, and in the morning, as the, the and in the morning, ask the king for his permission to hang Mordecai. Good. Then you can still enjoy yourself the banquet. Indeed, I will. Indeed, I will. And now, word from our sponsor. You just hate your new boots. Do your pumps plop, flash with your dresses. Come down to Uggs Be Gone. We'll fix your shoe problems. Uggs, Uggs, Uggs Be Gone. Wore those shoes once now they're done. Once now they're done. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the king's chamber, Xerxes is tossing and turning in his bed. He sits up. Seven! Yes, my king? I feel restless. Could you find something to soothe my soul? I shall read from the king's journal. That always seems to soothe the king. Seven. What honor is conferred on Mordecai for this? <laughs> Nothing was done for him, my king. Who's that out in the courtyard? It is Haman, sir. I think I'm in.
chips. <laughs> Your Highness, I have something I wish to discuss with you. Emma, first I have a question. What should be done for the man the king wishes to honor? For the man, for the man the king wants to honor, have royal robes brought, which the king himself wears on a horse that the king himself rides, with a royal crown on his head. The robe and horse would be handed over to a respected official, and they should put the robe on the man the king wants to honor, and lead him on horseback throughout the city. Proclaiming ahead of him, this is what the, what is done for the man the king delights to honor. Yes, take these robes and the horses as you and as you said. Do this for Mordecai the Jew, who sits at the king's gate. Don't leave out anything you mention. Uh, yes, my lord. Now you had something you wanted to discuss. Nothing. It can wait, your highness. Very well. I will see you at the banquet. And now, a word from our sponsor. Oh, I guess he missed it. A little car for two. The big cars cost too much. What do the baker have? That different touch. They all those model lines that screwed up papers different by design. How could this have happened? How could what have happened? Last night I took your idea and went to speak to the king. I get there and he asked me if I want, if I had any ideas for honoring someone. Of course I thought it was, he was going to honor me. Who else should he wish to honor but me? Mordecai, that's who. So, all, so I have spent all day parading him around like a, a servant. Now I have lost all the people's respect and I have wasted money on a perfectly good gallows. If Mordecai, before you have begun to fall, is a Jew, you will not get the better of him. On the contrary, your downfall for him is certain. It will not bode well for our house. It will not bode well for our house. I know. If our gods allow Then we shall escape with our lives before the truth is revealed. Yes, I will gather the boys and prepare to leave. Yes? I have come to bring Lord Haman to the Queen's banquet. <laughs> Haman leaves for the banquet. Don't touch that dial. Here's a word from our sponsor. Do you have le hideous lips? Is your crumb catcher a funny color? Try Tony's phony stashes. You'll wear it once and never go back. Tony's phonies don't look like the cronies. Hide your identity today. <laughs> Our scene is now the king's table. Haman, Esther, and Xerxes are eating together. I know this banquet you have presented is not merely for my pleasure. Whatever your request, Queen Esther, it shall be granted. That whatever you want, up to half the kingdom, it will be done. Okay, okay, the lives of okay, no. what? If it, sorry, if, it, if I have pleased the king and it, 
So if I have won the if I have won the favor of the king and I have pleased the king, then I ask for the lives for my life and the lives of my people. For we are to be sold have been we have been sold to be to be destroyed, annihilated. Yeah, if we had only been sold for for men or female slaves, I would have held my tongue. For I would, no, for I would not. Yeah, for it wouldn't have been worth your trouble. Who is he? Who dared do such a thing? This wicked man, Haman. <laughs> what? <laughs> The king glares at Haman before leaving the room. Haman throws himself at Esther's feet. Please, my queen, spare me! I, I did not know! If I had known, I would not have done so! Please, the king has decided my fate! I beg you! Please plead my case! Forgive me! Is he even going to assault the queen in my in the palace before my very eyes? No, no, no! Seven. Your Highness. What is it? Look, the gallows seventy-five feet high that Haman made for Mordecai who only spoke good for the king, is standing at Haman's house. Hang him on it! Please, spare me! <laughs> Haman, a man whose pride and ambition led to the gallows. A story that is told from one generation until the next, until the end of time, here in the Jewish Zone. Little cars are too little, the big cars cost too much, but Studebaker has that different touch. See all those model lines, that Studebaker's different by design. As you awake, a thought occurs to you. The little cars are too little, and the big cars cost too much. You find yourself longing, longing for a new Studebaker. And this concludes our spiel. Why do you keep smacking it? Encore! <laughs> <laughs>